everybody, welcome everyone. This is Pleasures of Cameo, Elements of Power. Developed by Rare, it was a launch title game for the Xbox 360, so that's how I was introduced to this gem of a game. Let's break this down into story, level design, character design, and uh, music. Beginning with story, its simplistic and cliche approach of a story is all the game needed. The story didn't have to be complicated or convoluted with unnecessary characters, it focused mainly on you, Cameo. At the beginning of the game, you are bestowed, the elemental warriors, but your sister, eh, she was jealous of you. So she releases the Orc King, he invades the Magic Kingdom and punches you so hard your elemental warriors get knocked out of you. They are taken and spread across the kingdom by the Shadow Trolls, which take them to the Shadow Realm. Now it is your job to get all 10 of the Elements Warriors back. So, so far, so good. Simple enough. The challenge begins. In order to get each warrior, you have to go through trials and solve puzzles, as well as along the way, defeat enemies and occasional boss fights. Which leads me into level design. Each level is tailored toward a specific character to use their abilities and sometimes a combination of characters. The puzzles to either unlock a door or get to a destination are very inventive and have you thinking creatively or outside the box. I appreciate when a game challenges you on a mental level. You feel so proud by figuring it out and beating the puzzle or boss fight. And if you need help figuring out how to defeat a boss or solve a puzzle, there's a guide that will give you a hint if you truly need it. So it has a nice way of helping the player, which is great because nothing is unsolvable. All of that can be attested to the character design in this game. Each warrior has a specific skill set and ability that is useful in every way throughout the game. The thought and care behind these characters and their mechanics is insane. Each power is utilized to solve at least one obstacle challenge and one puzzle, and a combination of different warriors to defeat bosses. You have characters such as Forty Below, whose ability can freeze people with his frostbite breath, he can create a giant snowball and use it to spin in circles and act as a tornado and knock people away. Ash, who is a fire-breathing dragon, her abilities are to ignite totems or bombs. Shilla is basically a freaking yeti. He has spikes on his back. His purpose is to climb walls and use his ice spears. You can also knock trolls onto your back as they get impaled. You can also use them as a spear. Thermai is a little guy who carries a mortar volcano on his back used to blow up things or stun enemies. My favorite alternative skin for him though is where his mortar cannon is just a big earth with a giant volcano protruding out of it. Pummelweed is basically a rose with razor blades on his head. His main ability is to punch with his thorny hands and also go into the ground for an uppercut attack that knocks or stuns enemies. Snare is a catapult character. He launches small bugs from his mouth onto things. Major Rune is a ball of spikes, which he can use to run over orcs or trolls. Um, they also get impaled onto his spikes, which is really funny. His ability is to charge up and spin really fast and roll up ramps and jump gaps. Rubble is a pile of rocks he can use as projectiles. Deep Blue is basically a water hose and a submarine. And then there's Flex. His ability is to reach heights and who out of all of them looks the most like a Monsters Inc. character. And really, they all look like Monsters Inc. characters, if I'm being honest. All these characters play well into the game, and it is up to the player to utilize the characters in certain situations and switch between them, giving the game an extra layer of problem-solving elements. Lastly, the music is actually really good. It's basic in a sense, but the soundtrack for each theme is well made. There are themes that sound very hopeful. A lot of the memorable ones are the dungeon themes, it sounds haunting and like you're going through a challenge. All I can say is that the music matches the game. So we talked about the story, the level design, the character design, and briefly on the music. Quick mentions that I found a displeasure in this game. Since there aren't too many, but the first being the controls can sometimes be very clunky. Movement wise, it's eh, it gets a little blocky, especially some of the characters are just big and move awkwardly. Secondly, I encountered this a few times and didn't know if it was a bug or just the port of the game from the Xbox Game Pass. But in the Shadow Realm, if you get caught by the Shadow Trolls, they shake you non-stop, sometimes killing you. 
You're supposed to be dropped after a certain point, but I've had it where I got caught and was held on held until I died. Other than that, um, that's all of my pleasures for the game. So thank you guys for listening. Please play this game on Xbox Game Pass. I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun. It's a challenge, but it's a good challenge. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.